Okay, this video is going to basically show the beginning phases of building one of our zipper boots. This is the Cognac Cross zipper boot. Here you see I have a silver pin tracing out the patterns of the body of the boot. And if you've watched our videos before, you know that our bodies on the zipper boots are basically two pieces and they are seamed up the back at the heel cup. You can see that right there. My thumb is on the heel cup area. Pretty interesting way that you can keep that cup once it's sewn. And here I'm just cutting out the relief, which is where the vamp goes. On the front of the body of the boot, on a cowboy boot like most of you know this is what we would call the shaft of the boot or the top of the boot. On a zipper boot, there are no side seams, so it's a and it's much shorter, lower lower top. So it's just the the body of the boot. So here I'm cutting that heel cup with a, a very uh, worn Exacto knife, and you can find those at Hobby Lobby, Walmart. I think even Home Depot, places like that probably have these. Um, don't buy the blades at Walmart. They're too expensive. You can get those on Amazon in bulk. And probably best to buy in bulk because the, you will dull them very, very quickly. Here I'm cutting on a cutting board that you can buy at Walmart. And this is not a video plugging Walmart by any stretch, but most of you guys have access to to a Walmart. Some other places, you know, Targets, uh, other places will have these cutting boards. Uh, I think they're around $15 to $20, and they're that shape and size. Uh, one side of them has a gutter around it. It's a drip edge, basically. And um, usually I start on the other side, and when I wear that completely out, then of course you can flip it over and start again. But a very, very good thing to, to cut on uh, and keep handy there at your bench. So again, cutting the relief cut on the other, the, looks like the that would be the left boot. So what happens is, is these bodies wrap around the foot and the ankle and the zipper, uh, the one seam, the way I build them is there's one seam and that seam is at the zipper on the inside of the boot, or the inside of the foot, running just in front of the ankle bone. My bench is very, very, very cluttered and messy, which is the way it normally is. I'm sorry, that's just the nature of my brain and normally I would lay a lot of this stuff out on a layout table but I think that day we were busy using it for something else so I just threw everything on the main bench okay so here is the over vamp decorative piece or pattern that will basically overlay the the main vamp and be stitched down to that pretty intricate and you see there's a cross cut right in kind of a fleur de lis right that will sit right on top of the toe and this is the counter cover um, or the overlay that goes over the counter cover again a cross and a fleur de lis type design. I don't know why I designed things like that. I think I gravitated to that kind of um, look from looking at early cowboy boots, probably. Um, the earliest cowboy boot book that I had was the one that came out in the early 90s. The cowboy boot book, the original one. If you don't have a copy of that, there's still some out there floating around that you can buy on Amazon but it was very very pivotal very pivotal for me um, as a young bootmaker 
somebody who wanted to get into the trade and inspired me a lot and I think a lot of this subconsciously comes from those early inspirations uh, here you see I'm again cutting on the cutting board with the exacto knife and you know when you're cutting these intricate designs it's best to keep the blade in the cutting board so as you you know come to a point or you start in a point um, and you have a curve to make you know keep the blade in the material or in the cutting board and kind of turn the material so you can not lose that edge here is a very interesting technique and I use it as often as I can. I'm taking a hole punch and the same diameter as those designs that I have there. And that just makes our life easier because you, you get that perfect round cut that's nearly impossible to do by hand with a blade. So then I go back and just cut to those circles, to those holes. And it just makes it cleaner. Yeah, you see how that I did that. Just kind of cut back to the circle, and as you can see there, it makes a makes a very clean edge in that tight tight corner or tight curve. So you see there, I'm keeping the blade and the material and turning that leather. Just makes a nice edge. I leave my glasses laying there. And I guess I just when I'm that close up, I really don't need them. Probably dangerous though, because I throw my scissors. Okay, now laying out the vamp, you see it's cut short because we don't need all that extra material at the toe. When I have that over vamp uh, pattern, uh, the decorative part, overlaying this, you don't need all that extra material. These are going to be dress boots. And this is some great leather. I don't know if y'all know about Tannery Row, um, but that is a great source for this leather. These, these are the European hides. And uh, the great thing about European hides is they have less bites, less scratches for some reason. I don't know how they graze them over there, but uh, or if they even come from there. But then I know they tan them there, and they're just clean, clean hides. And the tanning process, the processes they use are far superior than anything I've ever seen because these colors are vivid. The uh, waxes and the oils they use uh, in the retanning when they after they tumble and apply you know these waxes and oils these these leathers have some depth to them this is actually more in giles uh, is a massive importer of italian leather and that's what i used on these boots and i love 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 this leather so just using the exacto cutting out the edges that you see the edges you don't see i'll, I'll use scissors that's why you see me changing up but again this video is simply to show some of the techniques um, that I use when starting these, uh, these zipper boots. So I think we're going to show some pictures of the completed boots here. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool boot. Put some spots, some metal spots there and some spots and did the ditch stitching or the, the stitching outside of the overlay. Just another layer texture. There they are, cognac cross zipper boots. Thanks for watching, guys.